With the rise of success of Power World and reaching 7 million players in 5 days, it's clear to see that Power World is here to stay. The future for this game is going to be absolutely insane. They just now released a roadmap on Twitter showing the future content for Power World, adding new features and adding some really cool endgame content, so let's dive into it. So starting off with some basic stuff, obviously since it is an early access, in the coming weeks they will be adding a whole bunch of bug fixes, that's normal for a game like this that is in beta, but I will say playing this game for nearly 20 hours already, I haven't really ran into a lot of bugs maybe like three to four bugs and they weren't really that game breaking so this is cool to see that they are actually going to be fixing a bunch of stuff next this is a pretty cool feature if you have friends unfortunately i don't but they will be adding cross play so steam players can play with xbox users and vice versa also, on the topic of playing with friends, they're adding server transfers and server migration, so that'll be fun. Following that, they are adding PvP in two ways. The first way is a traditional PvP. If you and your friends are on a server, you can enable PvP and then you guys can fight each other. And then the other way is they're adding PAL Arena. This is PvP for your PALs. Unknown how this will work, but it does seem like a really cool feature. Now let's get into some more juicy stuff. So this is kind of like the new content that they will be adding. So they mentioned that they will be expanding the map and adding more islands to explore, which is really cool i love exploring this game already so this is going to be awesome they also said that they'll be adding more pals into this game currently there are only 111 pals so it's going to be really cool to see brand new pals if i had to guess before this game comes out of early access i would have to assume that there will probably be about 150 to 170 pals in this game they also said that they'll be adding brand new bosses to this game as of right now there is only five bosses in the game but if i had to guess with the release of new islands that's where these new bosses will be and lastly, for this new segment, they're adding new technology. So if they're adding new technology, I would have to guess that they would have to increase the level cap because how are you supposed to add new technology if you're capped at level 50? But I don't know how this will work. It'll be interesting to see how they release the new technology. And finally, the last thing that they mentioned, which I'm super excited for, is what I believe a new end game content, we will be seeing actual raid bosses into the game. So that is everything that they shared on their roadmap on Twitter. If you guys did enjoy this, let me know down below. I love covering stuff like this. And if you guys want to keep up to date with everything Power World, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.